Good morning. I am on my way to do my very first float therapy, float pause, sleep deprivation, or not sleep deprivation, <laughs> uh, gravity deprivation tank. It has a bunch of different names. Um, I'm super excited. I have heard good things about it. <laughs> I'm kind of excited because one, I like that it's really good for creativity because it like is a sensory deprivation you don't do anything you don't hear I think you can hear stuff we'll see I'm not really sure um, you so like you stop taking in stuff for a good hour so then you your brain starts working better and becomes more creative supposed to be really relaxing the salt is supposed to be good for your body and your hair and everything so I am looking forward to it I don't know much yet I had to do a little um, waiver thing sign a waiver saying all kinds of stuff I signed away all kinds of different things but so far I know if you're on your period you can't do it Makes sense. if you recently dyed your hair you can't do it. Um, I had to sign that if I messed up the tank's water in any way, that I'd have to pay like $500 to replace it. I'm assuming that means like paying in it. I don't know. <laughs> Not gonna do that. Um, let me see. I know that they told me they have pretty much everything. Bring a hairbrush. Um, they have like, I guess, showers and stuff. We'll see. Not really sure. Okay, so I just finished my float. That was pretty cool. Um, it was like a weird mix between floating in a pool and taking a bath. <laughs> uh, so I walked in and the uh, girl on the counter, she's really sweet. She had me come and sit in the lobby for a little bit, um, like a minute. And um, she had to take some other people out of the video room. So she asked me to come early so that I could watch the video and learn 
more stuff. <laughs> um, basically, just sat in these comfy chairs and learned like what they were gonna do. So you go in the room and they um, they have in the room, your own room, you have the float pod, the shower, a towel, a face cloth, there's shampoo, conditioner, body wash, earplugs, a water spray bottle in case you get salt water in your eyes or anything. You can, I guess, like spray it in your eye <laughs> or spray it on your hands, your face cloth or something. Um, and then they had a, this cool like circular headrest, which was nice. Um, I kind of went back and forth between using it and not. And oh, petroleum jelly. She said in case you have any cuts or anything on you, you can like cover it up with the petroleum. That way it doesn't burn. Um, I think that was everything, yeah. So they give you, I think she said like five or six minutes to shower off. They want you to shower like product out of your hair. Um, deodorant whatnot unfortunately I remember to bring hair gel and um, hairspray for when I got out but I did not remember to bring deodorant <laughs> so act like you're like going to take a shower you know um, and bring anything you might need for that um, they also told me to bring a hairbrush I think I said that earlier because I guess your hair can get all knotted when you're floating around you'll see some cool footage of that so yeah, so um, it was cool. So you get in and you close the door by yourself, um, which I wasn't sure if I would feel claustrophobic or not, but the fact that you control it was fine. It's definitely bigger than like a tanning bed. You have, So if you have ever done a tanning bed, you'd be fine in here. And then it plays music and has a light on for 15 minutes and then it's silence for 45 minutes um, and at that point in time you get to control the lights so there's a bunch of different options on off different colors rainbow colors I think I had strobe lights at one point in time I was just kind of messing with everything and then there's also kind of cool there's a button for an intercom in there so um, if you if there's an emergency obviously but also just if you have any questions she said you could ask her I didn't need I didn't use it so I don't know but um, there are only I think there are only three rooms at the one I was at so you know they aren't like really busy or anything I'm sure they're just sitting there waiting for you know taking calls and if you have any questions all good um, so the 45 minutes of silence like I said I kind of did lights on lights off just kind of moved around I tried staying still for a while I tried falling asleep I didn't fall asleep I was kind of afraid to fall asleep too because like I don't know I don't want to get stuck in there <laughs> I guess I was like still a tiny bit claustrophobic of it um uh but yeah it was really cool it was like I said similar to a bath in that like you're just away from everything and it's quiet and it's relaxing um but I know I get like at a certain point in the bath, I'm like, okay, I'm bored and ready to get out. So this definitely like pushes those limits. And then it's also like floating in a pool. It's nice and salty. It's like floating in the ocean. Like I could see how it could be really relaxing. And if you don't live anywhere near the ocean or a pool or anything that you could go to regular regularly, I would definitely say you should do this because it's I it would be super calming. For me, it was more like kind of fun <laughs> I was just like I, after a while of sitting still and realizing like I'm not gonna go to sleep I just kind of started bouncing around at one point I did I guess I moved I had the lights off and I moved towards like the bottom and kind of turned and all of a sudden I felt like kind of tight and I couldn't find light I really didn't know which direction I was I had no idea I was all the way at the bottom um, and then my phone started ringing and I actually had my phone inside which if you're trying to relax you know probably not the best idea but it didn't I wasn't necessarily trying to relax so it was good it like lit up and then all of a sudden I could see I was like okay I'm okay <laughs> it was a good thing um and I kept the light on for <laughs> the whole time after that but at that point I was like starting to get like okay I'm kind of done with this and then just a couple of minutes later um all of a sudden I was like is that music and it starts the last five minutes it starts playing music again um, so I did an hour long, if you haven't done the math on that yet. 
yeah and then it tells you to go ahead and step out and you open it and then you can take another shower and get all clean and at that point in time that's when you can use like the shampoo and conditioner and everything and then you dry off and you go and then they actually had an oxygen bar flavored oxygen bar I have no idea what that is I've never seen that before um and tea but I'm not a big tea drinker and I'm like an hour away from my family and today's dad's off so I'm ready to get back home and enjoy the rest of the day with them so I skipped on the oxygen bar but that might be a treat for some other people um yeah it was all good so I'm gonna go ahead and head out now cool experience y'all should try it especially if you can find it on Groupon so this was um, a gift to me, but it was purchased on Black Friday off of Groupon. So it was like deal and deal. So it's a good way to try it out and just see if you like it or not. And if you don't have one anywhere near you or you can't afford it, try and go to the beach or float in the bathtub. Pour a bunch of Epsom salts in the bathtub. It was, I have to say, it was really cool how much you floated. Like, cause I was just sitting when I first got in there and I like couldn't even help but float all of a sudden. Like I could feel my booty lifting up off and it was cool. So, um, I, part of me wanted to try it because I've always wanted to go to the Dead Sea and experience that. And I think this was like the closest thing <laughs> I'll get to it at least for a while. So if, um, you want to experience that, that was a really cool thing about it. Just how much like it just held you like you didn't have to work at all like I said there's a little pillow thing and you didn't really need it but it kind of felt good to kind of move your head position a little bit so there's that but yeah it was a really it was a cool thing I'm glad I did it and maybe I'll do it again one day maybe I'll also just go to the beach or take a bath we'll see <laughs>